This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Cody Carlson. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Governor Cuomo was celebrating the opening of a new manufacturer in the southern tier. The governor announced the opening of Crown Holdings, Inc. in Nichols. He says the company invested more than $150 million into the facility, which is expected to create more than 160 new jobs by 2018. Crown Holdings makes specialty cans for the food, beverage, household and other industries. Governor Cuomo says the company has received performance-based incentives from Empire State Development and that helped them decide to build in upstate New York. New York State is standing its ground when it comes to preventing repeat drunk drivers from getting behind the wheel. The State Court of Appeals has upheld rules allowing New York to permanently revoke the license of a, drunk, of a repeat drunk driver. That's according to our media partner, the Star Gazette. This case comes after three residents with repeat offenses sued the state, saying the policy was overreaching. The regulations allow the DMV to deny applications for reinstating a license if a driver has at least five alcohol or drug-related driving convictions in their lifetime, or at least three in the past 25 years and one other serious driving offense. Well, Common Core will soon be gone, and that's not just the learning standards, we mean the name too. The New York State Education Department has released the name for the revised learning standards we told you about Monday morning. It will be called Next Generation English Language Arts and Mathematics Learning Standards. The Education Department revised the Common Core Standards after years of feedback from parents and teachers. The Education Department presented them to the Board of Regents yesterday. This weekend, you can help support the Horseheads Community Animal Shelter by eating some good barbecue. Horseheads Boy Scout Troop 41 is hosting a fundraiser cookout outside of Lowe's this Saturday, May 13th. They'll be selling hot dogs, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and drinks. The proceeds from this annual sale usually help offset the cost of Boy Scout camp and district events. But this year, the troop wanted to split the pot and give back to the community. The boys thought it would be a nice idea. They'll be able to get a few extra things get some cleaning supplies, get some cat litter, um, maybe help somebody else out who needs it for a spay or neuter. The Boy Scout troop will also collect cat and dog food don donations for the Horseheads Shelter. The sale is this Saturday at Lowe's in Elmira from 10 to 2. Well, it's a trend sweeping the nation. Law enforcement agencies here in the Twin Tiers and across the country are spending thousands of dollars on body cameras. The Subban County Sheriff's Office was one of the first law enforcement agencies in our area to use body cameras. They've been in place for a year now, but they weren't always welcomed with open arms. And despite their growth, many wonder, is their investment being well spent? We felt that body cameras were going to be a huge asset and could probably save in a lot of liability down the road. I think it just sends a clear picture of what actually happened in the events, how they unfolded. And tonight, WENY's Logan Wilson takes a closer look at body camera programs and the impact they have on our community. The eye that never lies, tonight only on WENY News at 6. And now here's Craig Flint with a look ahead at today's forecast. Good morning, Craig. Howdy, thanks a lot, Cody. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Here's a look at your forecast today. We're starting out with some extra clouds, but those clouds will give way to more and more sun as we head through the afternoon. So by the afternoon, I think skies will be mostly sunny. Should be a decent day with a high around 60 to northwesterly breeze around 5. Then uh, tonight, uh, I do anticipate numbers to uh, drop back into the 30s. So there will be uh, some rural frost. So I get my graphics in order here. <laughs> Patchy rural frost and a low temperature of 34. Forecast over the northern tier becoming mostly sunny. High temperatures today around 60 or so, about 60, 57 to 60. Here, uh, Elmira Corning over towards Bath and uh, Hornell. And over the Finger Lakes, skies will become mostly sunny for the afternoon here and temperatures up near 60. So we do have this little stripe of clouds kind of uh, moving through. Uh, first thing this morning is that large area of low pressure kind of dumbbells some more uh, energy around it, but it is moving away. And I think as we head through the afternoon, we'll kind of get some of that uh, sinking air and that high pressure will mean 60 degrees today. That's not bad. Increasing clouds Thursday, a high of 64. Friday, there will be showers developing, especially uh, as we head through the day. 
55 to 60. Saturday's wet and kind of cool, I think, now. A high of 54 or 55. Low 60s for Mother's Day. A little bit cooler Monday with a high of 55 to 60. And then uh, Tuesday, uh, better with more sunshine and high 65 to 70. Cody? All right, thanks, Craig. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Cody Carlson. Have a great day.